To sustain agriculture, many factors come into play. The weather, planting, and even disease, just to name a few. But another factor that is just as important and is often taken for granted is pollination. In this report, the Monitor's Ryan Nakan shows us how the University of Georgia is making sure the pollination of plants continues by helping agriculture's smallest friend in a big, big way. A large percentage of agriculture depends on the flight of these little guys, or little girls to be exact. You see, while the male drone bees are inside the hive all day mating with the queen, the female bees are going out, pollinating the plants and collecting the necessities to keep the hive alive. It's been proven that one third of every bite of food that you eat is made possible because of the pollination efforts of honeybees. We've shown on our blueberry research that um, honeybees, when you bring in a honeybee into that kind of system, yield improves, the, the quality of the, of the berry improves, and the size. So yes, honeybees are very, very important in the agricultural systems. These honeybees are the angels of agriculture. Recently at the University of Georgia's Honeybee Research Lab, entomologists explained to a group of honeybee producers the challenges facing honeybees today and what their research is doing to meet those challenges. This has been a really bad several years for honeybees and for you know, the commercial uh, operations you know, that gather honey. Hives sometimes look like they're dying off uh, by the thousands for no reason at all. And, and uh, so this research is vital for this industry to survive. The honeybee population is declining because of the phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder. The syndrome is blamed for the disappearance of honeybees across the country. And in drastic cases, some apiaries have lost all of their colonies. We have not seen the symptoms of CCD like we did between the 2006-2007. That was probably the ultimate collapse. The cause of colony collapse disorder is still unknown. But researchers here at UGA say that they do know it's not because of one particular reason. But CCD is a mixture of many different things. It's a combination of things. Uh, environmental toxins, agricultural pe you know, pesticides that are being used, shrinking forages. I think we may have two or three things if, if they come together at a certain time could possibly cause a beekeeper to lose a stock. Bees are intelligent creatures and communicate by using specific dances to explain to one another the location of food or water sources. <laughs> Once the bees receive the information from the dance, they are able to fly to the exact coordinates of the source. The navigation system on these honeybees are so keen, if you move their hive five feet one way, they will completely miss it when they come in for a landing because they're navigating off the sun according to the earth on its axis. Almost the same thing they're doing with, with the tail waggle dances. Barry says bees are not only intelligent, but they are tough. One good thing about honeybees is they're they can be very resilient and they can bounce back. So we do have these dips and then these, and, you know, these ups and downs. But will honeybees completely disappear? I don't see that happening. And with UGA heading the project funded by the USDA to find the cause or causes for CCD, the honeybee industry is hoping for the sweet taste of discovery. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockhan.